So today guys we do have this beautiful Audi 2005 S4 and it has only 92,000 miles. It is insane, amazing car. That's the amazing quality used to be back in the days. But again, I think the Audi and BMW engineering, they're all kind of same. And they think in 50,000 miles, that's more than enough for the warranty. After that, none of the engine or transmission parts gonna fail but your seal is gonna start leaking and you're gonna have a lot of problems and you're gonna have to spend a lot of money and time to fix it so you're constantly gonna buy the parts from them but the car not gonna break down so basically this car right now at the point where I have to say goodbye to that even this car I used to have for about two years but honestly I never enjoy it so I enjoy it maybe several days only until the next problem came up and the car was sitting in the shop and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the problems I was facing with the car. But I think the engineering of this car, it's not going to be the same anymore, like I say. And it's just amazing. I mean, all the doors, all the door panels, you know, the fenders, they build tough. They build so strong. You can feel it. Only the way you can take the door apart, you know, you can take the, the shell itself and the window regulator together with the frame. It's just amazing. I mean, nobody doing that anymore. But the Audi, for some reason, they've been doing it so hard and so tough. All the moldings, those are aluminum, you know, chrome. And it is just amazing quality because right now this car, how long, I mean, how old is this car? 18 years old, 18 years old, and it still looks beautiful. When I got it, I paint the hood, roof and uh, trunk because the paint was faded. But that's the way, that's the way the old car goes because the clear not holding enough time especially in california under the sun and uh, that's the common problem that's what you have to face it but when i see it at the auction with those kind of mileage even the car was non-runner i still beat full price on the car and i paid top dollar for non-runner car but suddenly uh i got lucky on that i started up after i put some fuel in the tank and it was just low on fuel but the gauge was showing like quarter or something of fuel but it is what it is so somebody traded this car to the company and i basically bought it from the big company big wholesaler at the auction and i was so happy with this car until i start undercover all the problems this car got and i just you know i waste a lot of time i waste a lot of money i was hoping i'm gonna fix it and enjoy this car on sundays you know with my kids with myself but i just cannot anymore it's just too much for me but again the way this car was built the Quattro all-wheel drive is just amazing. The older cars, they are super nice quality. And I can tell that. And a lot of people who know those cars, they can tell the same. Basically, it is amazing. I mean, any new car I can compare, even, even the new Audi, I drove most of them. GT, Electric One, e-tron, you name it. Q7, A8, S8, new one, and uh, R8. R8, the older one, they kind of the same because they do have a V10 engine that's the same as Lamborghini. Those cars are amazing also. Audi S6, 2008, 2007, they do have many numerous of problems. But again, if you do have your hands, you have your head and you have a lot of time and money to buy the parts, you can fix yourself. Uh, I cannot do it anymore. I used to fix a lot of cars myself. But again, the time passed by and I understood the time i'm spending myself with the uh with the car it's just not worth it because it's better to give it to mechanic but that was my huge mistake when you trust in the mechanic you have no idea how he's gonna handle it you just basically put in the money to nowhere that's what i did and that's the perfect example of my mistakes i did over the years and i was thinking i kind of learned a lot to not make those problems but i'm still constantly doing those kind of problems even i've been in the business uh for about 10 years right now i'm still not perfect and the car's not perfect and the mechanics i'm constantly replacing them changing this one trying the other guy and everybody telling me you know we're gonna get it done don't worry about it you're not gonna spend a lot of time you're not gonna spend a lot of money but you are spending and i am doing that constantly every day right now and that's the huge problem there is nothing you can do with that 
So let's go around the car, see what's going on here. So we do have the, those beautiful, I mean, in my opinion, they are beautiful rims. There are 18 and they sit in so perfect. You know, the size of the tire, they are the same by factory set. So you don't need to go with aftermarket rims. If yours are really good shape, you can always fix those scratches and pay a little bit money. They're going to look beautiful. So how you can compare Audi S4 with Audi A4? So you can tell the difference right away because the bumpers, you know, those moldings on the side, they are different, especially the rims. They are different also. So it's not the Brembo brakes, but they are more than enough when they're working good. So these brakes, they kind of not working good. So basically uh, to fix it right, to make it, really good shape you have to do the service i have to put new brakes new brake parts and service the maybe rotors and maybe the calipers take it apart replace the uh the seals and put a lot of lubricant on that that grill it is telling you that's the audi s4 especially we do have that emblem on the radiator grill again those mirrors there is a lot of chrome on the side it is telling you this car not just a regular a4 there is something else and basically this car used to go with different type of engines so it used to be 2.7 uh uh b turbo i don't know if it was a factory one or not but i did see those engines on an audi s4 here in the united states so i have 4.2 engine and that's the engine giving me a lot of problem constantly and i cannot just handle it anymore so on the back we do have that dual exhaust system and the emblem s4 and the small spoiler on the back that makes the car so kind of aggressive especially at the time when it was produced so it is an amazing shape this car always been in california never changed the state i think that's why it's still alive it's still non rust free car you know none of the panel of the body has any spot of the rust those hinges those hinges just insane i mean the way the way they did it even the old audi like 100 200 you know there is nothing you compare with those huge hinges like that because nobody doing it it's so complicated and it's not cheap so right now they're doing the cheap stuff but not like days before so inside the car it is just super nice seats ricardo and the sun shades we do have it on the back the sun shades we do have it on the back doors and believe it or not those hooks they've been broken and i got them both both sides four pieces from the dealer i ordered them and they got them i don't know how i don't know from where but they got them so we do have the original boss sound system it is an audi symphony and it works just perfect so in the trunk area i mean it is now the huge trunk area right here i do have a cover for the hood I don't know why it's sitting there who use it but anyway so those shocks it's just so complicated hinges for the trunk let's check the condition on the back so on the back of the car we do have a sunshade for the rear window we do have a sunshades for the rear doors and believe me or not those hooks they've been broken all four of them and i ordered them from the dealer you still can order it and they got them for me and I replaced them. It's just super cool. I mean, the car S4. Look, this aluminum piece back in 2005. Not even single scratch on that. Look at the driver's side. No scratches, no corrosion, nothing. It is so cool. I mean, each piece of this car, it is just cool you know those rims they do have some some scratches because it is a 2005 so it's not basically a brand new car oh, the headlights the headlights it's uh, one of the part of the car they they've been replaced i mean they, they were not replaced they've been removed 
while the guy's been doing the cooling system. And when they remove it, for some reason, they broke, they broke those, the rear covers of the headlights. So right now, every time I'm passing by the car wash, the water going in and they basically, they're getting foggy. But besides that, outside, the plastic is faded just because the car was sitting under the sun a long period of time. Now, it is what it is. I mean, I can polish it and put the uh, clear on it, but I'm not going to do so because enough is enough. And you can see the radiator. It's new. There is a sensor. There is a line, AC line going in. They are new. And there is a lot of different stuff being replaced there in the hoses. The coolant is still fresh, you know. Like I say, the engine itself, it is amazing, but it's hard. But it's so hard and so expensive to fix any kind of problem with that. So I'm just done with that. I don't want to do it anymore. And that's, that's the way it is. That's the video. That's the goodbye video for this car at this point. Those aluminum mirrors, you know those are amazing i mean they still doing it but back in the days if you see 2005 audi s4 on the road you're probably gonna say this guy he has money to buy this car and to maintain it because maintenance for this car even that time it was not cheap at all look at this car believe me or not it is amazing condition and uh 92,000 miles, 2005 Audi S4. It is really hard to find the car like that. Again, for someone, maybe it's not a huge deal and they can get the engine fixed. They can get it done for much cheaper and much faster than I can. But again, if you're gonna see this car at the auction, just buy it because it is beautiful. And if you're gonna spend a lot of money, not a lot, if you're gonna spend some money and the time for it, it's gonna appreciate that job plus it's gonna appreciate a lot on the price not the way i'm gonna sell it unfortunately so here we come today we do have uh, this beautiful audi s4 2005 so and that's gonna be video i'm not gonna do a lot of pain you know from my chest about this car because honestly i've been having this car for about two years now and uh i want to tell the story while i'm driving to the car wash so i can wash it and you know review the car and show it you outside the way it looks it is beautiful car you know it's beautiful and it is original nice condition ninety thousand miles ninety two thousand miles and it's 2005 i believe so it has only two owners by Carfax. And uh, so the reason why I bought it, it's been a time ago. I think it was about two years. So every dealer, as you might know or not, but I'll tell you this, every used car dealer, we do have some cars, the one been sitting for a long period of time, somewhere on the back of the shop. And uh, mechanic was working on it. You know, he was guessing and this and that you've been spending a lot of money like me and at the end of the day you know you're saying like let it go you cannot you cannot fix this car anymore i mean it just it just a lot of different problems just coming back and uh coming on there is a new one creating and it's keep going and going constantly there is nothing i can do about it and i've been trying my best uh to fix this car because as you can see that's uh, original recorder seats and uh, see the condition? It's beautiful condition, you know? They, they're all uh, solid, they're all in one pieces. Still. So the way it drives, it drives amazing. Transmission shifting perfectly, engine sounds good. Uh, but the main, the main problem, what's happened? So when I got the car, it was, uh, number one, it won't start. So basically the car was starting and dying, I'm like, uh, let's see. So they brought the car to me. The first thing I did, I put the gas. So I went to gas station. I got two gallons of gas. I put it on, started up right away. Beautiful. I'm like, hey, I got lucky. You know, I paid some money for it because it's a low mileage Audi, even non runner. It's going to bring a lot of money. So basically, I paid that money. I got the car. I put the gas. I drove it off. 
and it's nice and i was so happy until i start driving the car to do the smoke check and i notice uh i notice there is a coolant leak so coolant leak okay so i mean they're all leaking it's old audi i understand there's a oil leak coolant leak something going on always constantly that's kind of normal and i can probably fix it so i took it to one guy he said you know your hose is leaking right here we need to replace it we need to take the whole front end out and we can do so i'm like beautiful let's do it why not so he pulled the front end out if you know the audi these years you have to do a lot of job to replace any kind of any kind of coolant or uh radiators stuff so the whole front end was taken apart and uh we found on not only one hose, there is other hose, three-way hoses. There is on the both sides. It's cracked, this one leaking, that one leaking, the other hose is leaking. So we start ordering all the all that kind of stuff and uh, this and that and that and that. So I spent a lot of money, the water pump, the hoses. And after he find out, you know, the your radiator is cracked, looks like on the bottom it's going to it's gonna leak. As soon as you're going to put pressure on it, since you have a whole system new, let's do so. I'm like, okay. So we found radiator for crazy money again, about four, five hundred bucks. Uh, not original, but uh, good brand. Not the Chinese because Chinese basically they're not doing it. Maybe doing it, but they're not selling it here because the car is so rare. Uh, doesn't make any sense for them. So we got radiators. We got all that kind of stuff. We put it back on, and what's happened? The coolant was good. EC stopped working. Stop working. EC. You know, it's leaking here, leaking there and uh we replaced the condenser we replaced the ac lines o-rings all that kind of stuff we checked the compressor uh it's not working so it's not working and i'm like hey what can we do this and that so the guy was guessing again i was spending money on it and nothing happened so after that uh I went myself, I got the scanner, you know, the good one, I check it out, I check the, uh, try to activate it, check the sensor, so I find out there's a pressure sensor went bad, so I replaced the pressure sensor, that's it, AC start working, blowing cold, the car runs beautiful, it's not leaking anymore, maybe it's just a little bit slightly oil on the oil pan, which is kind of, again, normal for the old Audi, I'm like, beautiful, that's what I need, it drives so good, so probably on the Sunday morning, I'm going to take the car out, I'm going to drive it to the canyon somewhere close to PCH, you know, I'm going to get my kids in the car, because it, honestly, it's a beautiful car, and you're not going to see it every day on the road in this condition, so it is beautiful. Da -da 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 -da. A couple days later on, what's happened, and uh, obviously, I passed the smoke check, I drove it off, all monitors ready, no check engine light on i was so happy you cannot even imagine how happy uh i was when i got the smoke check done so guys it was the last video of this beautiful audi s4 and it's probably one of my mistakes i made over the years and i want to just share it with you it's going to be the last video for this car with me because it is kind of goodbye video i don't want to see this car anymore i don't want to spend any money or any time on it anymore just because i'm tired of it i do have a lot of different cars different kind of projects i'm doing and i'm so happy with that and i'm so happy i got this car in my possession back kind of two years ago about two years ago just because it taught me a lot and uh I know I cannot handle all the stuff, whatever I'm getting, just sometimes I have to let it go. And that's the time, and that's the video to let it go, this beautiful Audi S4. Somebody else is going to get it and probably fix it right and maybe make money on it, but not me. So what I want to say, I want to say huge thank you for watching this video, for supporting me. Put some thumbs up, put some comments below. If you do have experience with a car like that or the similar situation like me, please share it with me because I want to hear it. And probably some of you who are watching this video right now, they do have a similar experience in the life. And uh, maybe one of you right now working on the project like that, whoever bought it and put it on the site and say, yeah, I'm going to spend my extra money to fix that kind of car and I'm just going to enjoy it. But you cannot enjoy it because you keep spending money and the car keeps sitting and it's just getting you nervous and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, you're going to handle it. I'm going to handle my stuff. 
Thank you so much, guys. And uh, see you next video. Put some thumbs up for me. I really appreciate it. See you next time.